SAA is raising a few eyebrows. The national carrier said today that it's planning to scrap its route between South Africa and Argentina. The move forms part of a strategy to restore profitability at the airline. Let's uh, get more now and we're joined by the spokesperson, Ladi. Ladi, Ladi, thank you so much uh, for joining us. So why did you decide to cancel this particular route? Uh, thank you for the opportunity, Mikiwe. The decision was uh, purely commercial as opposed to other suggestions that it was uh, politically driven. Mm -hmm. We are a state-owned company that which has a dual mandate. Part of that mandate is to be uh, commercially sustainable. That means we are profit-making. The other part of it really has to do with uh, the advancement of um, uh, state developmental objectives. Mm -hmm. In this case, we took a decision which flows must be understood in the context of uh, the implementation of but our long-term turnaround strategy. The Argentinian ambassador is not convinced. He's saying that it was political and not merely commercial. I think. Um, it is best for him to come here to explain that. But let's we took, say, I mean, we let's took let's a decision. Look at the numbers perhaps, because, perhaps, perhaps because according to him, uh, SAA is losing about 50 million rand a year from that particular route, and yet it's losing 300 million rand on the Beijing route. But you haven't decided to cancel that one. I, I wanted to provide context, and you're um, ahead of me. The point is this. Um, when you look at uh, the performance of our international routes, all of them are loss making. We had to make an assessment of uh, route performance and route profitability, and we had to start somewhere. But in terms Aris, of the but of is losing less than Beijing. So if it's a commercial decision, how could you make that particular decision? Do not make conclusions. Mm -hmm. uh, rely on information, mm -hmm. contextual information, on the basis of which you can make that conclusion. Here is the difference between Beijing and Buenos Aires. Buenos Aires has been operating for up to five years mm -hmm. and has not recovered, has not made any profits, mm -hmm. uh, profits. In terms of the international trends, you need to allow an international or a long haul route, a period of up to three years mm -hmm. before you make a decision to discontinue operating on that route. We cannot say the same about China because it has been in existence for just over a year. Mm -hmm. The second reason has to do with it's, the... It's still losing a lot more money. We, we don't know where that information comes from. Mm -hmm. It is an information that has been given to you, which is being accepted by everybody as gospel uh, uh, truth. Are those figures S -S -A. incorrect? SAA are has yet, this is the point that I'm making. Please mm -hmm. be patient with me. Mm -hmm. SAA has yet to make public its financials, including its financial performance on a number of areas. It is not until that has happened that people can make conclusions. Are those figures incorrect? At the moment, no official figures has been issued by SAA. Let's mm -hmm. wait until that time so that we can know whether this information is reliable or not. Mm -hmm. The ambassador said he was scheduled to have a meeting with yourselves in October, but it was cancelled an hour before. Is that true? There was, um, there was a communication between us and the embassy where there was an expression of an interest for us to have a meeting. There was a communication between us and the embassy and the meeting was subsequently cancelled. As to whether it was cancelled at the 11th before, hour. before, surely it's most I, I undiplomatic I do not, to drop the ambassador an hour before a scheduled meeting to discuss something as important as this. I am, I am not saying that the meeting was cancelled or not cancelled before uh, one hour before the meeting took yeah, but place. That's what he says. The, that is what he says. Mm -hmm. What I'm indicating to you that is I can confirm that the meeting was scheduled to take place and that meeting was postponed. Mm -hmm. As to whether it was an hour or two or a day or two, that How's I do not SAA know. How is going to try and iron this out? Because the ambassador is very, very upset, it seems. I think we also need to, uh, to, uh, to, to, to understand what our mandate is. Mm -hmm. We have a dual mandate and part of this mandate speaks to commercial sustainability and being profitable. Mm -hmm. At the moment, which, these international routes, including mm -hmm. that Which you are neither on both of these routes these at the moment. Finally, finally, Tladi, we, we have a run out of time. When is SA releasing its uh, financials? Financial statements will be issued as part of the AGM, which is a shareholder process. When when the DPE makes an announcement as to when the AGM will take place, we'll all understand what the state of so finances will look like. It is a shareholder process. Mm. DPE will make an announcement. Gladi, thank you so much for your time. That was SAA spokesperson Gladi Gladi.